Have you ever bought a product from the drugstore or high end, I don't care where it is, just any product, skincare, makeup, and immediately used it and gone, this is for me, this was made for me, this is what I wanna use forever, I love this stuff. And then as you got to use it, you knew that you had made that right call right off the bat. That's what we're bringing you today is things that we fell in love with the first time we use it, love at first use. I'm really excited to be able to be doing this video with you today because a very, very fun YouTuber and beautiful YouTuber here is collaborating with me, Mandy Lee. If you guys have not seen this gal, I am telling you, she is absolutely gorgeous. And just to watch her is an absolute joy. The looks that she creates, she does seven looks, one palette a lot, and the looks that she creates are just gorgeous. She has this gorgeous hair that is naturally curly, and it's so full and thick, and I just get so jealous watching her with that beautiful, beautiful hair. But she just seems to have so much class, and she has just this air about her of being very comfortable on the camera, which I think is just a really great thing. And she does all kinds of videos she does reviews and she does all kinds of tutorials like I said and I just fell in love with her like from the very first video I watched of her and then I was binge watching her so go over and please show Mandy some love and tell her that I sent you I'm really excited to be doing this with her and I can't wait to see what her five products are because we haven't even talked about it yet we just kind of let's roll with the flow and see what they are maybe a couple of them might be the same so let's get into the five products that I fell in love with at first use. So the first product that I'm going to talk about is a higher end product. Mel Thompson talked about this on her channel. I don't know whether it was in her monthly favorites in December or if it was in her yearly favorites. And it is this Becca highlighter. And this one is, let's see, this is called Pure Pearl. And I kind of, I like Becca's highlighters, but I'm the kind of person that doesn't like rush out and buy everything that she has new because at times her highlighters can get a little bit textured on me. They just seem a little bit too much. This one is not that way, you guys. This is a really finely milled pearl color, um, on, kind of on the pinky pearl, but at the same time when you get it on, it just looks more of like a glassy pearl color and it doesn't have like too much so it's not like bam in your face disco ball or anything like that it just has this really nice sheen and i find that as i use it on my cheeks i'm absolutely in love with it so i was just going to just put a little bit more on my cheeks for you guys so you can see i do have a little bit on but i just wanted you to see how that does and how that, can you see what a beautiful sheen that gives you? It's not like, okay, I've got a lot of highlighter on. It's just like this glow and oh my goodness, it is just gorgeous. So that's the first one that I got that I thought, oh my goodness, Mel hit it spot on and I have just been reaching for it over and over again and I fell completely in love with it. The next thing I'm happy to say is one that I actually just came across on Ulta's website in their new arrivals and I immediately bought it because I thought, okay, this is a mini, it's only $13 and the minute I used it, I knew that I was going to end up throwing out almost all of my other eyeshadow primers and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer and I'm telling you guys this fits the bill for so many things now this tube is $13 so that may seem like a lot as far as you know when we're looking at drugstore but I've had this tube ever since it was released what was it released like six months ago maybe and I'm not even like halfway through and I do my eye makeup every day especially since I've been doing more and more videos and I want to tell you that that much hopefully you can see there's a teeny tiny dot of that on my finger and that much is going to go across your lid it's going to cancel out any discoloration you have on your lid and it's just going to give you a great canvas to start working with but the best part of this for me is that that grips your eyeshadow so well dries down very very quickly so it's not like super tacky you know sometimes you can get that when you're working with eyeshadow primers you get where you almost need a powder on top of it and then start your eyeshadow for me i want my eyeshadow to grip onto that eye primer so that it stays all day so that i don't have to put an extra one in there 
and this is the one that does it. And I knew from the very first time that I used it that it was going to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I was going to be somebody that was purchasing it over and over again. My second product that I fell in love with the very first time, I actually fell in love with it when I got it out of the box. And that was this huge e.l.f. powder brush. And mine is obviously well used. I use this for the dusting of the finishing powder across my face. And it, mine, my powder is a little bit pink, so that's why it looks like that. But anyway, um, this is super soft, just hyper soft, you guys. It's $12 and it's worth every penny of it. I got mine at Walmart and it will, you can just take a little bit, you know, pick up a little bit of that powder, whether you're doing highlighting, bronzing, whatever you're doing, dust it across your hand and it's so light and airy that you're not taking too much off but at the same time you're not going to get like patchiness on your cheeks or anything and just dusting that across everywhere so and this was one that i i picked it up the day i picked it up i started using it i use it every time i do my makeup and that's not an exaggeration every time i do my makeup this brush comes out so i love this thing the next thing you guys are going to feel like i'm beating a dead horse but I cannot live without this eye cream. This is the Suko Yakasuhara eye cream and it's the Urea eye cream and I have talked about it in my yearly favorites. I talk about it in every skincare video I do. I talk about it with anybody that talks to me about crepey under eyes. If I'm doing a, a tutorial on concealer, this product is going to be talked about and it is because of how emollient it is and how fantastic it feels on my under eyes. I have extremely dry, crepey under eyes. I have deep, deep wrinkles from laughing and squinting and all of that stuff that we get as we get older. But this is amazing. And if my eyes are the tiny bit, bit sensitive, where they're feeling like, okay, maybe I have washed them a little bit too aggressively or had to be a little bit aggressive because I had eye makeup on that wasn't coming off. And then, you know, my it gets red, blah, blah, blah. It is so soothing besides. So the urea in it is a fantastic hydrator. You're gonna have hydrated eyes all day long, no matter what kind of concealer you use underneath it. You're going to have lovely hydrated eyes when you wake up after you use it at night. I really slather this on at night. And the other thing is, is that urea has a little bit of a property of being able to exfoliate. And so it does it in such an extremely gentle way that being able to put it up underneath your eyes is just a bonus because, you know, we can't really put anything underneath our eyes to exfoliate, but we need that tiny bit of turnover underneath our eyes in order for our eyes to look younger and more youthful. So I know I've talked about it over and over again, and I say this every time, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is my holy grail eye cream, and I will not be without it like on my fifth, sixth, seventh tube, something like that. Love that stuff, and I will never, ever stray away from so, it. So the next thing we're going to talk about is from Sephora, the Sephora collection, and these are the Rouge Gel Lip Liners. And when I first got these, I was like, okay, but this isn't a lip liner that's going to stay, and I was a little bit like, I love the creaminess of it, but at the same time, I'm not crazy about that it's, you know, more of a lipstick-like product. But then I'm like, tried them a couple of times and I was just like, these are so nice. So the first one that I'm going to show you, my eyes are so bad, you guys. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you is Wild at Heart. And that is that one right there. Can you see how creamy those go on? They are the most creamy lip liners I think I've ever, ever tried. And then this one is called Bellflower. Of course, this one's gonna be my favorite because it has that little bit of lavender in it. I'll tell you that if you go in with Wild at Heart first around the outer part of your lips and then Bellflower on the inner part, you have just this gorgeous, um, you know, multi-dimensional look on your lips that is so pretty. And then this one right here is Rum Raisin. Rum Raisin is one that I wear all the time because it's just like the color that's right in the sweet spot, sweet spot between pink and um, a little bit of red in there. Just so gorgeous. It's so pretty. So if I want a little bit more dramatic look, that's the one that I line my lips with. And these go so good with any lip products that you have like like today i have on just a lip gloss and a little bit of rum raisin underneath 
and I can't talk while I do that. But it just turned out so pretty because I didn't have to do more because they blend so well with what other, whatever other product you're using. And then the last one I have to show you is called Hot Sauce. And this is not Hot Sauce colored. This is more along the lines of a kind of a muted chocolate brown color and it goes so good with nudes. It's just a beautiful color. So I would suggest that if there's a color that you love, they have a, a just a butt ton of colors, you guys. So if there's a color that you really like and you wanna try, go into Sephora, swatch them, see which one, and you can also see the texture then. I just, I think that's what draws me into them is the texture is that I don't feel like I ever get a lot of dryness on my lips and I just absolutely love them. I think they're so pretty. So that rounds out my five that I fell in love with the very first time that I used them. And the reason that I have four of these is because I fell in love with Bellflower the very first time I used it and I knew I was going to want more of them and I love all the colors that I've gotten and I've used so far. So do you guys have items like this that you just fell in love with immediately because if there is something like that is that special to you I want to hear about it and so I make sure that I always read all of those and I'm always really interested to look at those so thank you so much for any recommend recommendations that you may give me beforehand. I appreciate you all spending some time with me today and please don't forget to go see me. Andy. She's an up and coming and I'm telling you guys and you know she is just a special special person and fortunately she lives here in Utah. She lives a couple hours away from me but we are hoping that we can do a meetup sometime and we could do maybe a little together where we're together collab type thing which we've talked about and we would love to do that for you guys. That would be so much fun. So I hope that you all are having an amazing day. If you did like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're not already. I would really appreciate that and love to have you a part of our family. So take care of yourselves. Love you much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.